would do hell. Oh, shit, Brother, hold on, man. Hold on, man, hold on, man. Hold. Work, man. Please, 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 please. Who is that coming off the goddamn pick and roll? Oh, brother, who's that on the logo? Because Jordan never did that move. How's it going, guys? Welcome to another video with Capswag. It's Phil here. This video is going to be a little bit different because it's actually not a product review video. I wanted to share with you guys a personal story and tell you a little bit about how I got ripped off when I was just a young kid. So I was about 12 or 13, and we took a trip to Washington, D.C. with my school. And there was this kiosk in this mall that was selling fitteds. Right, and you know, I was a kid, this is way before I was working for Capswag, and I was like, yeah, I want a fitted, like, why not? So there was a bunch of fitteds, um, so he was doing a deal with the guy, it was like two for 20 bucks or something like that, and I was like, yo, that's so cheap, I gotta get it, I can't say no. So I picked out two fitteds, thought nothing of it, paid the guy my 20 bucks, and went on my way. And then, so anyways, we ended up going home, I rocked it for a few years, and thought nothing of it, right? Fast forward, you know, till when I started working for Capswag around seven to six years ago, and I pull out these fitteds because I want to wear them to work. And I look at it, and after working in the store for a few months, I started to realize, wait a minute, the details of this are a little bit different from the fitteds that we sell in the store. And so I brought it in and I compared them to the ones that we sell, and I was like, oh my God, I got ripped off. This is fake. It's a fake New Era hat. This guy faked me out. And I was so surprised because it had the New Era logo and everything. And I was like, how the hell was I able to get ripped off like this? Well, believe it or not, and I'm sure you do believe it because you're in the space and you're in the culture if you're watching this video, fakes are a really, really big business for people. People make fakes all the time. So how do you protect yourself from getting ripped off? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna take a 5950 fitted cap and I'm gonna break it down and let you know what I do nowadays with all my experience to make sure that I'm not getting ripped off. I mean, you know, it's kind of tough for me to get ripped off nowadays because I see fitted all the time. But when a customer comes in the store and shows me the fitted and is like, listen, did I get ripped off? Is this legit? What do you think? Or I get a DM, someone sends me some pictures. Do you think this is legit? This is gonna be a step-by-step -step guide to making sure that you're fitted as legit as possible and you don't get ripped off. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so my assistant today for this video is going to be this uh, custom 5950 that we did with New Era, the Donatello pack, which is dropping, it probably dropped already by the time this came out. Uh, so check the site, but it's dropping uh, this, what, what's what today? Oh, the 18th of February at 8 p.m. Eastern, okay? But so let me take you through a couple things. So first things first, the sticker. This is probably the most easy part for somebody to fake, but at the same time, it's not as easy as you think because the sticker is pretty specific. So first thing I look at if, I, if I'm if i buying a fitted, right, from a store, um, you wanna look at the sticker. And the reason for that is the sticker includes some things that you should see. So first of all, the New Era logo and then the description of the silhouette. So if you're buying like not a fitted, it'll say something different here. A lot of people try to copy the New Era logo and they'll just use a gold sticker that says other stuff on it. But if it doesn't say New Era 5950 and then have the size, so the big size, there's a good chance that it's fake. Now another thing that people will do is they'll copy this, but they'll miss other small elements like the size in centimeters. It's written very small right underneath of the size. So you want to make sure you check that. and then. On the black portion surrounding the hat, it'll say a couple things. It'll say neweracap.com, and it'll say the originators of the true fitted with a trademark, because that's New Era's slogan. So you'll see that kind of wrapping around. So you want to make sure all of that is there first and foremost. That's the easiest way to check. Now, next up, the New Era flag on the wearer's left, okay? So like I said in my story, the fitted that I bought accidentally and got ripped off, it actually did have a New Era flag. But the way you can really tell is what the New Era flag looks like. If you have a fitted like this, you can measure the dimensions of the, your existing ones and make sure that it checks up. But they're very, very specific when they're making these. So the size of this should basically always match up. I want to say it's about an inch by half an inch roughly speaking. And the other thing that's a little bit tough if you don't really have a lot of industry experience 
is the style of stitch. So the way that New Era embroiders these is with a satin stitch. And what that means is the needle jumps from location to location to basically make a column. I'll put a picture of a column stitch right here so you can see what that looks like. I've seen some fakes use something called a complex fill, which is basically instead of the needle jumping, it just, it just stitches in a line. And I'll put an image of a complex fill right here so you can see what that looks like. But that's really the main thing. Um, now, there's different types of New Era side logos depending on what like age the hat is. You can have like vintage ones or newer ones. I'll put all the different variations right here as well. Nowadays, it's more common to see a single color stitch, but you can see a two color. So just because it's two color doesn't mean it's fake. It might just be a different year. And the other thing too is the placement. The placement is always about half an inch from this seam right here, this little stitch right here. It's very, very exact. I've seen people come into the store with fake hats and I didn't have the, I didn't have the nerve to like break their hearts, you know what I'm saying? But the, the new era flag will be not positioned correctly or it'll be too big or the type of stitches that they use will be different. It's, it's very, very, very obvious. I'll tell you that. Once you kind of get used to what this looks like, you can spot it pretty quick. All right, moving on. On the back here, so the Cooperstown logo is also kind of a dead giveaway, the quality of the embroidery on the Cooperstown logo. Now, there are variations. Sometimes the Cooperstown logo will be 3D. Sometimes the hat will, it will be flat and it'll still be a real hat. Here, I got one right here. Um, this is an obviously an authentic New Era 5950, but it's a retro crown edition, so it doesn't have anything on the back. So it's not always a guarantee, but a lot of times, if it's not like a special edition, right? If it's a generic, like, like a standard 5950, it's not a retro crown. It's not one of the different like types. You'll see an M, like whatever, obviously depends if it's like baseball or not, but if it's baseball, you'll see the, the league on the back. And traditionally you'll see the league on the back of uh, whatever it is. If it's NFL or if it's NBA, you'll see the league logo on the back. Now, in the case with MLB, you have the Cooperstown one, which is more rectangular, and then you have the Batterman for the current MLB. So I'll put that right here so you can see what that looks like. Um, so it, it depends, right? A lot of times, if it's puffed out like this and it's nice and clean, it's legit, all right? If it's flat, you need to use a little bit more scrutiny with the internals, and I'm gonna go through that in a second, all right? Now, on the wearer's right, right, it might have a side patch, it might not. Um, sometimes they'll put side patches to make you think it's legit but it's a little bit tougher to tell. The best way to know, again, is the lower the placement, the more chance it is of being legitimate because it's tougher to embroider this like this after the hat is manufactured, which is what a lot of these fake people who are doing bootlegs do. They'll get a blank, maybe not a blank 5950, they'll probably just get a blank generic fitted and they'll embroider the team logo on the front They'll embroider the New Era logo on the side. Maybe they'll even embroider the MLB logo on the back. They're gonna go to all that trouble. But the hat is a lot of times already constructed because it's done like in the States after the fact that the hat is made. So you'll be able to tell because the placement is higher because you can't get that nice placement down low like when it's a real hat because they're making the panels first and then they're constructing the whole thing afterwards, okay? And there's gonna be a lot more you can see on the internals as well, which we'll get into that next. So, so that's a little bit about the patch, right? The placement is really the way to go. As far as the button, um, not really too many ways to fake a butt, to, to make a button different from a fake. One way sometimes is on the interior of the button, you might see a new era stamp here. Then it'll be a further confirmation of it being legit, but it's not always a, a yes or no. Like in the case of this one, there's no new era stamp there. So that's, you know, not always guaranteed. The eyelets, um, typically you want to just look for clean eyelets. You just want to make sure it's nice and stitched all around every one of them. Now there are of course production defects sometimes that might be missing an eyelet or something like that. But a new era cap, the new era quality control is very, very tight. So a lot of times you should see all six eyelets stitched all the way around. Other things to look for are really on the inside of the hat. So let's go through it. So number one way that I got ripped off and this is how I knew, the taping on the interior was different than the taping that are on most 5950s. Now, again, that's not always a guarantee. In some custom 5950s, 
the New Era will switch out the taping for a custom design. Unless it's marketed that way, there's no way for you to really know. I'll give you another example. The Just Dawn release that we had, I'll put an image of one here. It had white taping. So it's kind of tough to know 100% of the time, but 99.9% .9 of the time, the taping on the inside will be the black New Era 5950 taping. And you can see that for the whole hat. It's the black New Era 5950 taping. Working our way to the sweatband. There's gonna be labels that you wanna look for. The labels vary from league to league, whether it's Cooperstown or not, whether it's a custom collab with a, with a designer or not, it does vary. But the labels that you'll always see is the New Era label on the inside and then the size marker label on the inside. The size marker should have the generic US size and then also the size in centimeters right underneath of it. And then you'll have the tag. You wanna check for the tag. The tag is very important. Obviously, it's a lot harder to fake a tag. So the tag is typically attached to the New Era label, but it's on the underside of the sweatband. So what you'll see is, it'll tell you the material first. So this one in this case is 100% polyester, and then it'll say made in wherever it's made. So this one was made in Bangladesh. So you'll have it in uh, Spanish, and then you'll have it in French, and then you'll have it in English. And then you'll have two identification numbers here as well. So that's the order that it's typically written in. It's a good chance to make sure it's legit. Of course, if it's like a league, you'll typically have the league uh, label as well. This is a Cooperstown one, so it has the Cooperstown label, but if it was a modern MLB, you'd have the modern MLB label. If it's an NFL hat, it'll have the NFL label, and you get the idea. Sweatband color can vary, so just because you don't get a black sweatband doesn't mean it's a fake. You do have white sweatbands, you do have custom printed sweatbands, it, it all depends on the hat. But let me show you one thing about the embroidery that also helps. So inside here, you can see the buckram, which is the word for this material that actually gives the hat structure. If you notice, it doesn't have any stitches coming through it. Look at the side patch. You see the side patch, it's coming through on the other side. The buckram, even though there's a logo here, it doesn't have anything coming through. That's another indication of a legitimate New Era product. Um, because if somebody stitched this hat after the fact, after the hat was made, you would see the stitches coming in through the back. But in this case, this was embroidered first and then the buckram material was applied and then the hat was formed to give it the structure. So in this case, you don't see that. The undervisor can be pretty much any color. It all depends on, on what it is. But other than that, those are the main ways to tell. So let's just list them off one more time and we'll have a little list right here, a little checklist so you can check uh, your hats moving forward. Step one, check the sticker. Step two, check the new era flag and the styling. Step three, check the placement and the styling of the back logo and the patch if there is one. Step four, Check the taping. Step five, check the labels. Step six, check, check the back of the front logo. If all of that checks out, then you, you have a 99.99% .99 chance that your hat is legit. So I hope that helped guys. That's a question that I get a lot. That's the best way to check if your hat is legit. And of course, the more New Era hats you own, the more you collect, the more you'll be able to see the differences between legitimate New Era 5950s and the bootlegs. So guys, I hope this helped. If you like this video and you wanna see more breakdown videos like this, something different from the product reviews that I do, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe, hit the bell notification. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you think I missed anything. I know some of my diehard fitted collectors probably saw something that I didn't, so please let me know. Um, and of course, if you guys wanna find out about all our newest drops and all the new products that are coming in, make sure to follow us on Instagram. It's at CapswagUSA, or subscribe to our email list by visiting the website and typing in your email. That's a good way to do that too. So guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video, and I'll see you in the next one.